This is a spiritual crystal card reading for um, Cancer for the month of October. So let's see what is your main energy. Main energy for Cancer is... This is um, Pink Tourmaline. So Pink Tourmaline is, uh, as you already know, is a um, crystal with a lot of lithium. So that is why it is very good for sadness. So by this being your main energy, that means that that is where you can, what is the energy, what is going on, where you can tune in or what is happening anyway. The thing of this crystal card reading is that you are aware of what is happening. It's not, I'm not going to predict what is your future. This is not our idea. The idea is that you can work with what is happening around you, what is happening to you, so that you can use this for your advantage for to work, to clean and to move on. So it is said now this month will be maybe a month of sadness. So what you do then is you take, if you have a pink tourmaline, you let it stand in a little glass of water overnight, you make, uh, you put the liquid, the water into a small bottle and you take like three, four drops, four or five times a day. This will help you to stabilize your emotions. And so that you can clean and transform the sadness, what is happening, because it can be in one different, one thousand different ways that it can come to you. But if it comes to you, use this as a tool, because these are all tools. This is helping you to transform and to move on. So that's your main energy. So let's see what happens on the first week of. October. Here you have uh, the um, aquamarine. So aquamarine is a very deep cleansing of the cell system as well. So that may be that there is still programmation in you, that is something that you're carrying with you so that it doesn't allow you to move on because you're always stuck in the kind, this kind of sadness. So Meditate or wear an aquamarine. This will help you to let come in the light and to go into all your system, into your cell system, so that it is actually bringing away, putting away the darkness, the negative imprints, the, the um, information, programmation of the cell system, that you clean it out so that you are open for the light, that you be, can connect with this light being, with this higher self, with your true self, with your true nature. So, let's see for the second week. Second week of uh, October, and this is uh, Rose Quartz, it's the heart again. So everything is still throat chakra, heart chakra, everything is here. So, what is Rose Quartz doing? Rose Quartz is a very, very soft, loving, caring stone. So it heals the heart. So you can also, if you feel like, you can put, for example, a rose quartz in a jar of one liter and drink it through the whole month. You can also meditate with a rose quartz. You can hold a rose quartz for to feel this sadness going, the healing of the heart, and to feel some peace in the heart. Let's go to the third week. Third week of um, October, and this is solar light. So if you follow these directions, you will see that on the third week, you will get some really deep insights. So that means that it goes to the third eye. So you are, you are starting actually here the throat chakra and the cleansing of this, the old information in the, on the cellular base. You go into the heart chakra, heal there, heal there, and let allow this soft love to flow through your whole body and to reprogrammate your whole system with this love, with this healing love, with universal love. And when you do this, you will be able on the third week to meditate with sunlight and to get onto the third eye to hear and to Pull in the information of what you are going through. What is it? What is this deep insight? What does it has? What is the new information maybe for you? 
What is there for you to acknowledge? Maybe it's who are you really? What is your deepest, deepest true self? This is a possibility for the third week. So let's go on the fourth week. Fourth week of um, October, and this is rutilated quartz. This is for to say, let it go. Whatever you are holding on, or whatever you really want, you know, with your your ego will and not with the universal will, let loose, let loose, go with the stream. Allow this stream to come through you, that you understand what is the universe, what is the universal will, what is good for you, and not what is your ego wanting for you. So look at this, fourth week, meditate with this. Message from the angels, here you are on the message of the angels. It is time for you, it is lapis lazuli, it's time for you for the little retreat. So get one step back and be the observer instead of the actor. So be the observer now, it's time for you. You have given the opportunity this month for to retreat. It is your time now, so give this time to yourself. Give it as a present. Allow yourself to be the, the observer and observe your life, observe the situations around you and let loose. Let loose. Because as more as you are holding on and as you are forcing and fighting, the lesser you can be helped by the universe, by the light beings. The lesser you can be helped because you are blocking yourself off, you are closing it here. So be the stream, allow it to be, allow it to be, be you. So this is for you for October. So if you would like a spiritual, a personal spiritual crystal card reading, you can contact me through my email or my website, or maybe you, you would like a healing meditation, just contact me. Thank you for watching. And enjoy this month. Bye.